Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to migrate a module from an Odoo version to another version. So we plan to do this video because we are seeing a lot of queries in different platforms like YouTube, Twitter, Telegram, Facebook and Odoo forum. Like people are asking how to migrate a module from a version to next version. Like converting a module from Odoo version 7 to 8 or Odoo version 8 to 10 or 8 to 12. Like that people are asking different queries how to do that. So the answer for that is that there is no predefined steps for such process. We cannot say you know, if you do like that the module will get installed. We cannot say such things without checking the code or how the code is done etc. So what you can easily do is that you can just take the module of the current version. Suppose if you want to migrate a Odoo module of Odoo version 10 to Odoo 12, just take the module of Odoo version 10 as it is, place the module inside Odoo version 12 and just restart the service and try to install that module. So on installation of the module, you might get some errors if that module is not compatible with that version and if there is if it is compatible you won't have error and the module will get directly installed and it will work so you have to check whether the module is compatible in that version or not so you can just place the module inside that add-ons path and restart the service and see by clicking the installation button so if the module is not compatible in that version you will definitely you will get some error message on installation so what you have to do is that you have to fix those errors and you have to go forward so this process has to be continued until there is no more errors so once the module installs successfully, don't think everything is done and everything is fine. My task is over. Don't think like that. You have to check whether everything is working fine. Sometimes you might receive some errors in the corresponding views. So if I if you install the module and if there is no errors on installation, you might think everything is done. And later, if you go some views, you might receive some errors in the views. So you have to check whether everything view there is no errors in the views or in the views etc also make sure that the intended things are working fine so this is how you can migrate a module so in this video we will show how we can migrate a module from Odoo version 12 to 13 so we will download a module from the Odoo app store and we will see how we are doing that steps so we will continue as we have told earlier so we will go to the Odoo apps from here I will go to the Odoo apps so if I make search of Odoo apps and from the Odoo apps, I will take a module of Odoo version 12. So in the screen, you are getting Odoo 13. So I will just take a module from Odoo version 12 and migrate it to Odoo 13. So let's choose our own module. That is, I will go to the Odoo Mates modules in the Odoo app store. So I am not choosing this Odoo 12 accounting because it's too big. And if we try to do on that module, it will take a lot of time to complete the video. So I'll just choose a module that is not too small and not too big, which stands in between having a Python file and XML file. So if I scroll down, inventory dashboard, tax list, inventory forecast, product search panel, sale purchase, month confirm, my DP. So let's choose this module. So if I open this module, I think the version 12 is available. Yes, you can see version 12 is there. That is version 12, 11, 10 is there, 8 and 9 is not there, also 13 is not there. So let's see how we can migrate this module. That is sale, purchase, must confirm and cancel module to Odoo 13 from Odoo 12. So I'll just download this module. So by clicking the download button, button I'll just download the module. So I'll go to the downloads. Yeah, you have the download module here. So once you download the module, you will get a module inside the zip format. So I'll just extract it by clicking right click so the module has been extracted so I'll just copy the module from here and I'll paste it inside my add-ons path so I'll go to the auto master that is my auto 13 I have been updated the module after the release of the version then I will paste my module inside the custom add-ons path so I'll paste my module here inside my custom add-ons path so that's done what I have done is that I have downloaded a module of auto version 12 and I have placed that module inside auto 13 so now I have to restart the service. So from here I will restart the service. Okay, the service is restarted. So there is no errors right now. Sometimes if you place the module inside the add-ons path and if you restart the service, you might receive the errors inside the log here. So you have to check that errors and you have to fix those. So either you can just check the error message and you will have fair understanding what is the issue. And if you are not aware of that issue, you can just Google it and see how we can fix that error. So right now we have no such issues. So I'll go to the front UI and I'll click on update app list so that I will get this module inside the database. 
So the debug mode is already activated so that you can see the database name here. So I'll go to the apps menu. So once you place the module inside the add ons path, what you have to do is that you have to restart the service and you have to update app list. So only you can see the module here inside the app list. So that's done. Now I will search the cancel or you can just I will search cancel. You can see this is the module. So what we will do is that we'll click on install button and see whether this module is compatible with version 13 or not. Yeah, you are getting error message. So once you get an error message, what you have to do is that click on see details and scroll directly down. Don't read any error message from the starting itself. So you won't get fixed. So all the hint of the error message will come at the bottom. Here you can see attribute module or AP has no attribute multi. That is, if you get such error message, I'm, I know how to fix this error, but I'm not directly doing that. I'll just copy this error message and I will search, make a search inside the Google. So I'll just make in search at Google and you can see attribute model object has no attribute model. That's not oh, 13 I'll give such a tag. Yeah, model AP has no attribute multi. You are getting a question in the Odoo forum. So you can just refer those things. And here, some of, one of the answer is that after searching in GitHub, found that multi is removed from Odoo 13 as it will be by default. So the answer says that in Odoo 13, you don't have to mention at AP multi. So we got a hint about our message in, in, in error message. That is, we have to remove API multi from our code. So you can see or must confirm that's our module wizard sale.py. So I'll go to the Python file. This is my custom items path, and here my module is this is the module. And fairly what you can do is that just go to the manifest file. Here somewhere might be this file, the version is 12.0, just change it to 13. So it's not necessary, but if you specify 12, still the module will get installed. So better looking of the module, I will just change the version to 13. So that's done. So I'll go to the wizards folder and we have got two Python files that is purchase.py and sale.py. So I'll just open the purchase.py and here you have a TPA multi. So the hint that we get from the Odoo forum is that we have to remove this. So I'll just remove a TPA multi from the purchase.py file. So the multi has been removed. So that's done. And you can see once you remove IP multi, it has not be imported. If you kept that there itself, there is no issues so for better cleaning of the code. I just remove AP also from the import. So that's done. Now I have to check the sale.py. Here you have the at AP multi here also. I'll just remove it from here also. AP multi has been removed from here also. And here I will have imported the API. So I'll just remove that. Now I will restart the service. So I have just made the fix of the error message that I have received in the screen. So now I will upgrade the module again. I'm sorry, I will install the module, try to install the module again. So let's see what happens. So you can see this module is loading and you got an, another error message. So let's see what happens right now. File, SRC, LXML, LXML tree. So if you get some error message like LXML and things, the definitely the error is going to be inside the XML files. So in our module, we have two XML file that is purchase view.xml and sale view.xml and let's look at the log and see in which file the error is getting so if i scroll up you can see yeah error is coming from sale view.xml file so i'll directly go here and check the file so error is coming from this file so we have no hint about which file or which line that is coming from so either you can just comment the code and check from trace from which part is there is coming so i'll just do one thing i'll just remove this from the code i'll delete these things i can get it back if i do undo so i will just uninstall it sorry i'll just remove few lines of code by checking as part of things and i will restart the service so what i have done is we have got error message in this file so i'm checking whether the error is coming from that two actions or not and let's inst try to install the module and see whether the error is still there or not just i'm tracing the errors to see from where is the error is coming you can see still you have error extra content data line so i'll just scroll down so you can see right now error is shift to next file so right we have error inside this file inside the things we have deleted so i'll just undo the things so we can confirm that error is coming from these codes that is once i deleted this code 
everything is work fine so the execution execution of this file has got completed and move to next file that is in the manifest file first we have called the sale view.xml file that is executed and we got error here so the error was coming from this act window so if i search this act window inside the Odoo code act window control shift f and if i search an existing sample id is the i'll just copy this thing itself and i can compare with my act window id here so i will just paste what i have copied id is there name is given here yeah on comparing that i have understand it multi and key is not necessary in Odoo 13 so that's removed multi and key is not there here view id is there and i think binding model so binding model has to be a source model so i'll just rename the source model to binding model that's done and view mode is here target new is there view type is not there so i'll just remove this view type so that's done and i'll remove this code we have copied for in the code so what i have done is done here is that i have removed multi and key and then also src model has been changed into binding model view mode is from target equal to new so i will do the same for here also multi and key was not there in the sample we have seen inside the odo core and binding model so instead of source model you have to give binding model and view type equal to form was not need to specify the thing so just restart the service and let's see whether there is any issues in the sale view.xml file so i'll just click on the install button again so i'll click on the install button again and if i check most probably we won't get error inside the sale view.xml file we will have the error in the purchase view.xml file so you can see you are getting the error inside the purchase view.xml file so i have to update this go to the purchase.py file and you have to act window there so you have to make same changes inside the purchase view.file also i will remove multi equal to true and p is removed and you have to paste the binding model instead of src model i will copy this and i will paste it here in here instead of src model also view type also has to be removed so that's done and here you have another act window i'll remove multi equal to true and key also removed and what you have to do binding model instead of src model has to be given so that's done and view type has not to be needed so that's also removed now i will restart the service so the service has restarted now i'll go and install click on install button again so I click on the install button again and I will see the log. You can see uh, here the module is good installed. That is sailview.fast process.vlxml is done. So you can see everything is done. There is no errors right now. So the module got installed successfully. So if I go to the apps menu and if I search that module again, that is we have searched cancel. Okay, you can see that the module has got installed. So if I click on the module info, you can see it's in install state that's why you are getting upgrade and uninstall option sometime it will go to the cancel install state you have also check that and fix it so right now the module is good installed so the features of the module is in the tree view you will have confirm the button confirm button so let's check the functionality so i'll go to the sales module and if i open some quotations so there is no quotation so i'll create a quotation i'll just create a sample quotation i will add a new product Okay, simple product is done a quotation is created now i'll go to the tree view and i will select the quotation you can see currently it's in the state status is quotation so from the action button i'll click on confirm quotation so on clicking that you can see the quotation get confirms that is so there is no errors in the view also the thing is working fine so this is step how you can convert a module from an older version to next version so you can simply take the module in the corresponding version and place it inside the next version and restart the service and check whether there is something inside the log if there is no issues after placing the module just click on the install button and see whether the module is getting installed successfully or not sometimes the module will get installed successfully without any errors that means that module is compatible then that time you can just go to the manifest file and change the version that is if 12.0 is given you can change it to 13.0 and if you get any errors on installation you can just refer the error message or you can check the google and see how you can fix that and you can fix the errors one by one and go for forward until there is no more errors is there so once everything is done all the issues are fixed the module will get installed and then 
go to the UI and see whether there is any issues or error messages inside the view. So if it's no error message, just check the functionality whether the module is working fine or not. So this is the step you can follow. So hope you like our videos and if you like the field video, you can just click on the like button. Also, you can subscribe the channel and support us. Just don't forget to press the bell icon for more notification regarding our latest videos and all. So thank you all.